Thank you very much, Corey. We've had copious amounts of rain across parts of green country this morning. Now at the airport in Oak Mulgee, they've had about 2.3 inches. Other parts of town have had anywhere from three to five inches of rain. Very interesting. The Metro. Now this is from the airport. A little bit uh, deceiving. Two tenths of an inch of rain, but places like Jinx have had anywhere from two to three inches of rain. We're first of all going to talk about the flash flooding that's been going on in Oak Mulgee for the last several hours. Now, thankfully, that rain beginning to taper off in Oak Mulgee, but there's been a lot of water rescues. There's been road closings and Mark fill us in on the latest. Yes, man, I've uh, left my spot. I'm trying to get down to some other areas and look for some flooding, but uh, there's most definitely a lot of flash flooding in Oak Mulgee. Uh, Highway 75 is still shut down at Martin Luther King, and I'm sure it's shut down at other locations as well to the south. But uh, right now, if you just the best advice, Clint, for everyone is just to stay in until this stuff passes over. Back to you. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. And, you know, don't try to, if you don't know the depth, don't even try to chance it right here as, uh, well, this, this is a safe area at this point. But water over the roadway, you can get stuck, and we've had several car rescues in the Oak Mulgee area so far this morning. Here's a look at radar again. Thankfully, the rain beginning to taper off a little bit in Oak Mulgee. Flash flood warning for Oak Mulgee County through 845, but we've got numerous flash flood warnings all the way back across portions of Haskell County and all the way back through Oak, Oak Fusky County through about nine this morning. In addition to that, we've got flash flood warnings for Tulsa County, Osage County, portions of Creek County. Down around the metro, it has been winding down a little bit, but still very heavy amounts of rain. West on 412, back towards Sand Springs. You head up toward Lake Sky Took. You head down towards Sepulpa, down the Turnpike. Again, just heavy, heavy amounts of rain. And let's go ahead and check in with Brady Halblive, who is in the storm chaser this morning. And tell us the very latest. Brady. Yeah, Clint, we're on Highway 75 right now, and the traffic is actually moving pretty swiftly at this point. The rain has tapered off just a little bit for now, but again, it comes in these waves where it comes really hard, and then it tapers off a little bit more, but we are seeing a lot of that water build up on the side of the highway, and we're still seeing a lot of that lightning and hearing that thunder come through every once in a while. Um, but we're actually just near the, um, the road work actually being done at uh, the intersection at as you go off onto uh, the Turkey Mountain area. And um, for right now, things are, are moving surprisingly well for the amount of rain that's coming down. Um, we haven't seen any accidents on the road as of yet, but um, again, this is a, you could consider this pretty dangerous driving conditions as of this point. You know, we're seeing a lot of this rain come down, and uh, it's even hard to somewhat see the lines on the highway and the city streets. The highway looks to be clear at this point with no water really pooling up all that much, but it's those city roads that we're seeing, uh, you know, uneven roadways where you have that water building up and pooling up underneath um, overpasses specifically. We've seen that multiple times throughout the morning already. So definitely be careful and want to be aware when you hit the roadways today. Clint. Thank you very much, Brady. Yeah, Brady is on Highway 75. He's just nearing the construction zone right around I-44. He's heading south. And again, a lot of uh, water ponding on the roadways. You need to take it easy. Allow plenty of time heading off to your destination. Let's go ahead and show you radar this morning. Very slow moving storms as we're not looking at any uh, upper level winds to really push this out real fast this morning. It's only moving about east southeast about five to 10 miles per hour. So it's rain moving over the same areas and that's why we have the flash flooding up towards Bartlesville. A few showers in that particular area. Here's a look at the hour by hour rainfall chances. They should begin to go down for us mid to late morning. Heading into the afternoon hours, this is for the immediate metro. As we take a look at the future track radar, again, 7 o'clock still depicts the storms. Tulsa to the south and to the southeast as we head through lunchtime. Begins to shift a little bit further down to the south, and then later on in the day should be generally south of I-40 for us. Temperatures this afternoon are going to be in the low 80s, and then heading into tonight, right now looking like a dry evening, but during the overnight hours, there could be some redevelopment of a few scattered showers and storms. Again, we'll have to watch out for heavy rainfall again tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon. The better chances for storms should stay in far eastern Oklahoma back in western Arkansas. It's going to be a warm, steamy day as highs are going to be in the mid 80s and we're going to have the hottest temperatures we have had so far this year by Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
Temperatures are going to be in the 90s, but the heat index, when you add in the humidity, it's going to feel like 100 to 102. So, yes, this is going to be uh, pretty tough on us. We're certainly going to stay hydrated, take it easy for outdoor activities Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and maybe a little bit of relief the way it looks heading into Saturday. But again, the, the uh, big story for us this morning, the flash flooding, a little bit less of a chance for rain tomorrow, and then the heat, the humidity build in by the end of the week, heading into the upcoming weekend. That's your latest forecast. Let's get a check of traffic for you this morning. And just like we've been talking about, ponding on the roadways this morning. Now, at the moment, we are not tracking anything in the way of accidents, which is certainly good news. Travel times from Sand Springs to downtown, 8 minutes, 20 minutes from Sepulpa, 16 minutes from Glenpool. All right, and we're taking a live look at the power outage map from OG&E. A lot of outages reported in the Glenpool area. You can see that big red circle there indicating there are more than 1,800 customers affected.